succession line. I don't know. But we are far away from any sort of like valid royalty right now. I have no idea, okay? And like I said, this went all the way to 1100. So that is some history. Normandy, it, it's so much. Um, they, I found castles and um, places. Medieval, medieval England is what this. Hey, come up, darling. So. It's the it's this is all genealogy. It, it's all been documented. That's the thing I was tripping on because it's been documented. So it's not like I just found something and it's not true. Okay, but like where's the money though? Where's the money? I don't know. That's what I want to know. Where's the money? Show me the money. I don't. I don't know, but I don't. I want to find out who owns the land, though. Who owns this land in Texas? Where is it? Because I know it's still in the family. I don't know a lot of money. I just need enough to live. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause it looked like I mean, loaded. I don't want to lie. Like I just need enough to be straight, like and not stress. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah. Sir Edward, Sir Lady Eleanor, Lady of Charlton. When I hear stuff like that, yeah. Commissioners. I'm the and in, in this will that I read in that one book, it tells about all the occupations that everybody were, um was, and it comes up to the. I can't remember the year, the present year. Remember we talk about the the uh, Scandinavian? It talk about yeah. that? The Scandinavian relatives? That one? They invaded, nor it says they invaded northern France. That's so, good. we're French too? Adapted to the French language and coast customs? It's early. When am I supposed to feed them? It's almost 8 o'clock in 8 minutes. Yeah. Just because they stay up late does not mean they need to eat late. They need to go to bed. I'm trying to get them in bed by 8.30. But that'll never happen. They not... won't get to bed until 8. Whatever. You... That is not going to happen. This is a pipe dream. My, uh, I was finna say Madea. Madea must be talking about me. Why? No, I was getting ready to say Madea. Oh. Um, I talked to Grandma the other day. She asked about you. Oh, uh, she did? Mm-hmm. I don't think she remembered me. What do you mean she'll, you don't think she remembered you? Yeah, she remembers you. She remembers everybody. I've been gone. She still remember you? She asked where you, where you being good? Oh. Uh, I guess. She mean you guess. And Papa tell me about the people and the, um, he saw on the news. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. What do you see? He said, um, I put it in the vlog too. He said, uh, he was on the news, the people was, um, some man was on the news in, in the water with a flat screen TV. He was like, where? I, I can't say what he said, but you got it. You can hear it on the vlog. Uh, where he gonna go with a can't plug it in? Can't, it's wet. What is he doing? I was just dying. I had to cut it because he was saying, you know how he talked, the language. I just I cut. But I was just dying on the floor. He said, he said, get the hell out. Why you didn't leave? Why you didn't leave? They, they wasn't trying to get their kids and their dog. They was trying to get their stuff.
I don't know, but he was just laughing. He was like, I know y'all would. Y'all would. Oh my gosh. I heard somebody ask me that. I said, That just doesn't make any sense. I wasn't taking nothing. I'm trying to take myself. This mess can sit here and float. I need to get myself out. That TV is done. Mm -hmm. I also was so sad. It was a sad, um, story. Like, apparently in Houston, this grandma tried to save the kids, and they all got, um, washed away. Oh, dang. That's sad. It was, like, all, they were all under 10. It was so sad. I was See, like, oh. stuff like this just... It made me mad. It just upset That's because they like, they, they know better. And people kept blaming people for like, oh, why didn't you evacuate early? I was like, they didn't make evacuating. They didn't say it was mandatory what? until the last. Well, it's not that they had enough time. They had enough time. They knew they could have got everybody out. 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 Start. They could have. Well, they couldn't have. Okay, if they issued the warning. Uh, they no 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 they could have started monday but the thing is they couldn't have issued it and they should have um partitioned off like by zip code because if they say all right mandatory it's eight million people they, should have gotten they can't the all that's they dangerous should, they should have gotten to places they knew were gonna flood first because it's not been the first time that it's well i know he's everybody, know. everybody know everybody know houston flood but see, yeah, they they're not gonna do that because, because just like uh, uh, New Orleans, they they're not gonna do that. That that was intentional. It was intentional. They weren't getting ready to save Houston. That poor grandma, she had to raise money for four people. That's sad. That is no, that's that's the government. But they knew. They knew. They knew. Of course they did. You know, they did know because it's the same thing. It's like the same reason they let the lead poisoning go on. Yeah, they already knew that. Like them Levy, them Levy's was blown up before the hurricane hit uh, Katrina, uh, Louisiana. They knew that, but they tried to make like, oh, the hurricane did it. No, it didn't. The government blew them things up. Like, but that's so terrible. You let babies die. Yeah, but no, they couldn't, um, everybody would have went crazy, and the reality that they won't admit is, that's 8 million people. Where are they going to put 8 million people? They can't bring them all here. They can't send them all north. Where are they going to put them? They didn't have nowhere to put them, so they said, we're going to let them he stay here. That's why they need to be found a place. They put so much money in the place that don't put any money in anything else. Well, you know, like and I said. Put money in the police which people have already voiced that they don't need, why would you put money in services that people need like that? They're not going to do that. And the people that do it, like the uh, Red Cross and FEMA, all they're going to do is steal it like they did to Katrina. They're just going to yeah, steal it. But see, like I said, that was their plan. All them people in that, um, in that dome, they was giving out shots and everything to them people. They was trying to kill them off completely. See, they don't nobody know about all of that, but they was giving them shots. I'm like, why are you going to do this to these people? There ain't nothing wrong with them. The government's shady. Real shady. But they know these hurricanes are, oh, it, it's this and it's that. They knew the path. They knew it was going to hit twice. <laughs> they knew exactly where it was going to hit. I mean, I know the weather is unpredictable, but they know certain things. No, their weather not unpredictable. And everybody, hurricanes, the the they have theories. Hurricanes have all started from Africa. Okay, they do. They don't even surface. They travel the same path as the slave ships. See, it's it's stuff people don't. They don't. They don't pay attention. They sleep. The same path. And I won't even say Africa. Ethiopia. Because that was originally the name. But they travel that path. They don't even surface till they get to the Caribbean. Because the Caribbean was the first drop-off point. 
when the one hit in uh, when the hurricane hit in South Carolina, that was a drop drop off point. New Orleans was a drop off point. That's why they hit like they do. They the government is really they sleep, but they not really sleep. They just don't want people to know all this. And some people just oh that's just this. How did you come? Yeah, pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, the global warming. Yeah, global warming, but, um, yeah. See, her, uh, Canada. Ain't no hurricane going to Canada. They have typhoon. Not no real hurricane. Because Canada was the free place. With no slaves up in there. Mm hmm Hmm? Canada still have white supremacy, though. Yeah, I know, but still, it, they these hurricanes follow the path of the slave ships. The bottom line, and and the government know this mess. That's why they try. Like the New Orleans now is majority. What happened to everybody? The whole population, the whole culture, the races have changed. Genocide. Yeah, it's majority Caucasian. Affluent ca ca Caucasians now. So that wasn't by accident at all. They're prepared. They just did stuff kind of a little backwards, and I think by the second day, because they president wanted to get on his phone and start tweeting about the world is watching you. Go ahead and do. He, I mean, I'm like, yeah. He had, huh? So that he didn't even know how to give orders, and they took orders from him instead of what they should have been doing. And I think, what's today? Tuesday. He just made it down here to examine the damage. Dude, why it take you so long to get down here? So, whatever. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he had no idea what to do, how to handle it, whatever. Oh, well, yeah, you just do this and do that and whatever. But yeah, they could have let them gates, they could have opened them floodgates before the thing actually touched the ground. It would have let out a lot of that water. Yeah, it would have flooded, but it wouldn't have been as high as it was. That's the bad part. But they will never admit that. Never. They know that the city is always prone to the heavy flooding like that. They want to be like they did everything that they could, like as best as they could, and that's not true. So, and that's sad because, shoot, all them people from, not well, not all of them, but half of Houston came from New Orleans. And somebody from, um, uh, in the Gulf said that they had just moved there Tuesday. They came from Tennessee. Cause uh, what was it, the fires or something? And I was like, dang, that's sad. You left from one tragedy straight to another tragedy. So that was really sad, but um, yeah. They knew, he knew exactly what he was doing. Let me just sit here and tweet what I have to tweet and keep it moving. So, and now the 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 bad part is Mexico has offered to help. This fool's still talking about the wall. The wall. The wall. No, man. They need to come and help. We need help. So I, I don't know these people that voted this man in. Well, you know, it wasn't even no election. I'm not even going to say they voted him in because it was not an election. It was fixed from the beginning. But, um, yeah, he don't want no help from Mexico, knowing all the time they are a valuable resource. So it's people suffering. People lost their lives to this man.
pray for them. Kids. It's like in... Pray for me, yeah, it's got the grandmother, but shoot. And it's like the ones in, in New Orleans that lost their parents. But see, another thing a lot of people don't know is a lot of them helicopters was out. They were saving them kids. And the parents were not being saved. And nobody ever examined what happened to those kids. They just kept saying these kids were displaced. They don't have parents. It's... No, they didn't save them on purpose. It's called harvesting. That's why they got them kids. See, don't nobody pay attention like that. Them kids went missing just like that. All of them kids were never claimed. And it's not because their whole family was lost. It's because they took them. It's, it's crazy. They are crazy. They just calculate, plan, and pull whatever kind of okay let's put this on here let's show this let's write this that way the world will believe this and some people buy it but if you start putting two and two together it, it does not make sense it just doesn't everything is scientifically proven i'm like okay according to whose theory is it scientifically proven Science. some things are just a mystery some people get such theories in their head that they can't see anything else so they go ahead and believe it see that's the thing I don't like argue with people because some people will be like we just need to stick to all these definitions and the facts and I'm like but you don't know none of this is true like of course if you have theories I'm not saying that any of these theories are like close to what, you know, it could have been. I'm not saying that's not the case, but like you don't know what's going on. You don't know the whole truth because you weren't there. But you don't know what happened. Mm. And it's like, like, people are people. I don't know. Yeah, people don't do the research. Did you do your homework? What homework? You ain't got no homework, is what you're saying. Not really. That was a theater project, but I don't think that counts. Okay, then. Whatever. Oh, Have you're, a test um... on Friday? You went on Friday. Cool. Yes. Um, you're, um... What was I saying? Genetics. Oh. I traced oh, the. What? No, I was. Uh, uh, oh. I traced our ancestors all the way back. Because I was trying to figure out how we got from Ireland to here and how we got. The color we are. No, I'm not going to say the race, but the color we are. And I did some research because according to what's in the Uncle Sam has documented for um, where we started in America, I found the bridge from America to Ireland. We didn't originate in Ireland. We originated in Wales. Our family was very, I know it was notable because of the name, but we were royalty. Castles and everything. Huh? Yes, we were. I found it. So I, it's wheels and everything. There's a book that I found. It's a couple of books. But if you go, go to Ireland and pull up the map, there's a whole town named after us. That I already knew. The name was Li the name was Lyle. Lyle. Yep, Lyle. Huh? How is it spelled? L Y L E. But it went all the way back to I think the 11th century. 
So, and then the records were, they were right. They matched everything he had because it brought, I, in the wheel, I could see it was saying, I leave such and such, uh, to my sons and my daughters it named negro this mulatto that and i'm like okay now that makes sense so we were we, were, we came from mulatto royalty we came from wales okay no he was saying so why is royalty in wales is what you're saying huh we came from wales in wales who are mulatto wales n no that didn't happen until he got this relative, these are the ones that descended from Ireland to America. Okay? They had 15 slaves. Okay? That I did find out. Okay? They brought them. So the mixture happened between Ireland and the United States. If we look at Doc Scurlock, Miles Scurlock was from his pictures look full caucasian i'm not completely sure his his granddaughter is in dallas though but he so looked he and not white completely no and doc had mulatto children doc remember i said doc was the one they made the young guns movie from that ran oh, with billy the kid also yeah. mile my old Skurlock was him and a couple more were um they fought in the Alamo so when you have people like that it's easy to trace back because they were known people so it wasn't hard for me to bridge that gap all the documents I found it matched up everything he said down to his family in Mississippi everywhere it had a, the wheels and I'm like I'm reading the actual wills of these people. Wait, who are I where did I get access to this? I just started reading up on some more stuff. I've been trying to figure Where do you have archival access? Huh? Where do you have archival access? It's free. I'll send you the stuff I'll send you the um I'll send you the links. It's open. The books aren't in pub. Well, no. The book that I, the book I was reading from is not in circulation. It was at uh, Brigham Young. It's not in circulation, but you can download it. Okay, but like, where did you get the original? How did you get our originally like family documents? Because I had to cross-reference something that I found. I cross-referenced another name. This re it does not go all the relatives, but the book has a lot. It was just like, oh no, you have to read it. I guess the important relatives, but there were a lot of relatives. Like who they married, um, Texas. There's a whole bunch of land in Texas from Travis to Bear owned by our family and further up. And I knew already, everybody knows about the, um, the cemeteries, but I didn't know about all of this. I knew about the Alamo. But I didn't know about all of this. So when I cross-referenced that one person, Joan, somebody from 1360, I think. That's how I tied that. She was from Wales. Married somebody. I think they went to Ireland. And that's where everybody else came from. So, I don't know. I have to go back because it's a lot of information. But I could never, I don't know if anybody has documented that far back. But it all fit just the way he, he gives it to us in the, in the, um, in the, um, documents that he has, that he posts for us. It all fit together. Which family member has the archive stuff, though? Uncle Sam is the histor historian. Uh, how do I get in touch with him? Facebook. Uh, what do I Huh? What is do I In Durham. No, it's a lot of names, Yeah, he live in he live in L.A. And see how I know about I know about him is because I met my cousin when we used to live in California. He told me about Uncle Sam. Oh. What? 
So I met one of my cousins a long time ago. He was a writer. My mom found him somewhere, and that's how he got me a job writing for the um, city, the black newspaper. And he told me about Uncle Sam. I didn't know Uncle Sam was a historian until after that, but he's the historian. So I'm going to have to um, tell him what I found so he can go look through the documents. But I, I did as much as I, it took me all day to read what I read, but I was like, wow. And there's a, uh, like I said, when you, go, when you go to Ireland, you pull up that town and there's something called Kill, Kill a Day or something. Kill a Day. And that was the name. If you look up Killer Day, Killer Day will bring you back centuries. Oh, it is. No, they told me the long way that from Meridian, Mississippi. Yep. So, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still trying to go back and read all of this because I could not. It was a lot to read. I didn't even realize till I kind of finished how much I actually read. You know, I only count like 20%. Logical records.